What is your most embarrassing dance memory? Oh boy. Hi everyone, welcome back to Dance Curious. My name is Alexi and I'm a professional ballroom and Latin teacher in Los Angeles, California. Today, I'm gonna to be answering your Quora questions. Let's take a look. By the way, I'm sorry for any fuzziness in the sound. It's extremely hot here today and I only have a wall unit for air conditioning. It makes everything sound a little fuzzy, but I'm going to die a slow and miserable death if I turn it off. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Mm. My 14 year old daughter admitted to me that she's three months pregnant. That's not one of the core questions I'm gonna be answering today. Okay, here's one to start. Are all types of salsa considered Mexican? There's a little vagueness to this question that theoretically, I suppose they might be talking about the salsa that we eat. Um, but it's an interesting question, so I'm going to answer it as though we're talking about the dance. Hopefully that's what they mean. So the thing is, salsa as a dance is not Mexican in origin. Salsa as a dance is Afro-Cuban. Salsa technically originated in Cuba, but it has significant roots in African cultural dances as a result of the slave trade to Cuba at the time, because obviously there are cultural connections between Cuba and Mexico and, general, and Latin America in general. Salsa has spread across many, many different countries, and it's also been around for quite a while. There are also lots of different variations of salsa, depending on which uh, country you're in each with its own sort of distinct flavor, even though the essence is the same. Now, if you mean the sauce, that's not my area of professional expertise, <laughs> although I have made salsa in my life. Uh, but it's a bit of a confusing question because salsa is the Spanish name for sauce. <laughs> Certainly not all things that Spanish speakers would call salsa are Mexican. Okay, on to the next. Okay, here we go. Here's a good one. What is the best dance move ever? Okay, so this is a deeply subjective question, so I feel completely free to just be ridiculous. Clearly, the best dance of all time is flossing. Oh. What is your most embarrassing dance memory? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> So, as you might imagine, I've been doing this for a while. Um, there are some th pretty decent candidates for that question. Okay, first story. Um, I think I was in college at the time and I went to a Lindy Hop club every week. And they always had like a lesson beforehand and I went into this particular lesson. And you know, I've been doing Lindy Hop for quite some time at this point and Oh, you know, it wasn't Lindy Hop. It was the Ballroom and Latin Club. Yeah, that's what it was. Anyway, I went to both. And um, we were all like lined up in our circles. We like took partners. We're like rotating. And for some reason, I have, I have no idea why. Um, I knew perfectly well at the time that the class for the ballroom uh, handhold for the higher hand is just like the hands going like this around each other, right? Like if this is like the leader and this is my hand, okay? But I had like this really like a weird brain blip and I still don't know like where it came from. And the leader was like this. And for some reason we were like this. I went like this and interlocked our fingers, <laughs> which I did, I did not know this boy. Um, and the instant I did it, I was like, why did I do that? That's not how you do it. Um, but then, of course, you're frozen in awkwardness. So you're just like deer in the headlights, you know, and I'm like, I'm like maybe like 19 at the time. And uh, he, he was good about it. He just, you know, casually unlocked our fingers and put them back uh, the way they were supposed to be without comment. Um, and I died I, internally, not literally, but um, I still feel that, that depth of self-conscious mortification that is um, so special um, in our teenage years. 
and uh, yeah, I just withered for the rest of the class internally, and uh, yeah, I cringe when I think about it. All right, lovely dancers, that's it for today's video. But stay tuned for the next part of the Quora series. I think these are super fun and there's some really good questions and there's some very funny questions. So I think I'll keep doing them. Check out all my social media links below. I have all of the usual suspects. And if you're in the general Los Angeles area and you'd like to learn partner dancing from me, let me know. My website is down below and I would love to work with you. Thanks for watching Dance Curious and I'll see you next time.